we are going to learn how to play a game with nouns. For that, you need to have a paper, a pen or a pencil, and you need three of your friends. You also need a bowl or a box with all the different letters of the alphabet. The first thing you do is, you're going to make four columns on your paper. The first one says person, place, animal, and thing. Then, one of your friends is going to pick up a paper and is going to pick up a letter from the board or a box. For example, the letter is M. All of you are going to write a person, name of a place, an animal, and a thing starting with the letter M. If you finish first, you're going to start up till 20, and that's the time your friends have to complete whatever is left. After you have finished and reached 20, everyone stops writing. Then you're going to give yourself points. You're going to read out what did you write as the person, place, animal, and thing. For each unique name, for each unique noun, you're going to give yourself 10 points. For example, you have written mouse and your friend also wrote mouse. So instead of giving 10 each, you're going to give yourself 5 and your friend is going to get 5 points. When you have taken lots of turns and you want to finish and end the game, you are going to do your total for each of the columns and add up your score. And you are going to find out who is the winner. Now paper is going to look like this. For example, with A you wrote Ali, Air Force, Ant as the animal, and Arm, Fireman as the person, France, Fish, Fan, Man, Moth is the place, Mouse, Milk as the thing, Sam as the person, the place is cool, snake is the animal, and star is the thing. You're going to give points for each of your nouns. For example, you wrote Ali, nobody else wrote Ali, you get a 10. Here, arm, you are getting a 5 because you wrote arm and your friend also wrote arm. So you are distributing the numbers. You have 5 and your friend gets 5. Similarly, fireman, you get a 5. Maybe for France, you get a 10. Five for fish, your friend also wrote the same noun, so he gets a five, you get a five. At the end, you're going to do total, you're going to count all the numbers together for each of the columns, and then you're going to have your grand total, add all these numbers together to get your grand total. Then you're going to compare and see who comes first, who comes second, and third.